was flying, bro. Yo, what's good everybody? So I'm just starting my night. I just took a trade here on gold. I'm gonna flip the, yo, I need to invest in a camera because you know, a lot of people want me to vlog more, but I haven't even bought a camera. But anyways, let me kind of flip the camera here and we'll kind of go over everything I'm doing. Anyways, so I just took a position here on gold. It's like 12 o'clock at night. So literally just like this position uh, on gold, we're actually going short on gold. Now I took a loss yesterday on a gold short going short in this area here i was right on direction but wrong on timing which also happened to another one of my trades right i took a long position over here and it went in my favor my take profit one was hit so i moved my stops to break even and i got stopped out at break even so i didn't lose money here but i did lose money up here and then look at price just go right to my targets because for those of you that are in the, are, that are in the, the mentorship and signal room you would know that i took this trade here and our last target was up here because this is daily resistance at 1731, which price did end up coming to 1731 because you guys gotta remember, right? The way I trade is all based off of probabilities, right? So I set a target here and I set a target here. Now you can ask yourself, you know, oh, why'd you set those targets there? Well, you know, if I'm entering a trade at support, what's the probability of price coming to our nearest level of resistance, which is up here, right? We can all say that the probability is pretty high versus support coming down and support actually breaking, right? Now, obviously this was a liquidity grab. So price gave us a liquidity grab and then went for my second target, which was here, right? Pulled back a little bit more and then went straight to target threes. We literally only had, our entry was somewhere along this area up here, it was a little bit higher, right? We had like a 50 pip stop loss, right? And we had an 170 pip potential gain. We're talking about that's more than four times our risk. So, you know, it's kind of like, damn, well, you know, it, I mean, it happens almost 200 pips, right? I mean, it happens, you know, I'm not really stressing over it, but you know, clearly these two trades, we were right on direction. And when I when I say we, it's because I'm not just taking these trades. My signal room is also taking these trades, right? So we were right on direction, just wrong on the timing, which it happens, bro. Like, you know, this move was during the New York session, right? And I called the trade during London session, you know, it happens, right? Now, I ended up taking a trade uh, on gold again for a short because on the daily time frame, right, if we look at it, let me zoom out, right, I just literally just called the signal, as you can see there, at 12, 12 a.m., and right before I called the signal, I posted the uh, the breakdown on why we're looking to go short, right? So for those of you that are in the signal room, just go watch the video, right? So anyways, pretty much we have daily resistance all throughout this range here. Price on the daily time frame is still in a very strong bearish condition. And then as price approached resistance on this daily time frame, we can clearly see that price rejected this level and actually started to go lower and actually made uh, new lows from the hour time frame. But we ended up closing under resistance with a big rejection, which typically once we see a big rejection from a certain level, we could you know expect price to go down, right? Or expect price to move in the opposite direction. We have a higher probability as of right now for trading lower than trading higher. Right, we go on the four hour time frame, we don't really see much, it's more just like a move. But if we go on the hour time frame, we could see a little more detail. Right, we could see that price came closed under resistance. You know, let's go to the 30 minute time frame, that's my favorite time frame. Right, price came closed under resistance, broke under both moving averages. Once we break under the 50 SMA, then typically we're going to change in direction. Right, price formed this low, lower high, lower low, and what I'm looking at. Right, is on this 30 minute time frame, as you can see, we have resistance, 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 right? Let me undo that. Resistance, 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 right? So price broke under resistance, came back up, now we're testing that level. So this is the reason for uh, entry. You know, we have rejection here on this five minute time frame. I wanted to get an entry as close to resistance as possible so we can minimize our risk and increase our reward at the same time. So my stop loss is above resistance. You know, it could be a little bit tight. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about it though, to be honest, you know, I actually have a 30 pip stop loss. I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. So we're looking at about, a potential almost three times our risk here. So I like to enter trades at a minimum, looking for a two to one risk reward ratio, right? But let's see what kind of goes on here. Um, you know, it's still not even London session, but I am expecting price to break uh, to the uh, the downside here. So 
that's kind of why uh, I decided to actually take the trade. Again, price broke under support. Now support is becoming resistance. Stop loss goes above resistance. Targets are next level of support, right? So let's see what goes on within the next couple of hours. So today's been a pretty uh, pretty crazy day, pretty long day. I was at the dealership for a while. For those of you that do know, I ended up copying an SUV. So here's my SV key, and I also have my US keys on me as well. So I don't know, it's kind of, you know, crazy to think. And it's funny because like you guys could look at, you know, the last, I wasn't really gonna get the SV, but if you guys look at like my last Instagram post, um, before the post of the SV, obviously I ended up making like $46,000 in the first two weeks. Uh, and that's just on my funded account. That's not even on my personal account. And then also if you look at my last, in this uh, YouTube video, you know, it was like making like $34,000 in like a day or something like that on gold, All right? Which is crazy, which is, again, is also another signal I called. So, you know, I've been doing very, very well uh, this month. So, you know, the SV has kind of been like this car of mine where I'm like, you know, that's my ultimate like dream car. Like that's the goal I eventually want to reach. Because I remember when I first, um, I wouldn't say when I first started trading, but when I was already like kind of trading, I remember I was on my way to a car meet one time and this was way back then, right? This was way back then. This was um, before I even like posted that I traded on Instagram and an SV flew by me and I'm like, damn, you know, I really want that car, right? Like this is a car like I, I strive to get. And, you know, it's always just been like that one car for me. And I've had multiple, multiple cars. I've had, you know, GT2, GT3, I've had a GT3 RS. Um, what else? I mean, the GTR I still have, it's in the garage. Uh, Lamborghini Huracan, you know, McLaren 600LT, McLaren 720S, um, you know, BMW M3. Like I've had, I've had a lot of cars, right? But the SV to me was like the next level car because Every car I had was roughly quarter million to three hundred thousand dollars. Not every car, but like my my really like expensive car. Right, it was roughly quarter million, three hundred thousand dollars, and the SV is a half a million dollar car. So to me, that was like, damn, you know, when I get to that, you know, level, right? It's just it's gonna be unreal. Um, you know, I've always had the vision in my mind, but I never really thought I would get there this quick and now i'm not saying this quick it's not like you know i started trading last year right i've been trading for like five six years i've been trading since i was like 17 and i'm currently 22 so it's about like five years and you know looking back on it like i said in the vlog right because i'm gonna post this video after i post the vlog but right? looking back on it it's it's just kind of crazy to me that you know i've been so focused on just growing and being better at trading right over the last several years that it almost feels like time kind of flew. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, you know, when like you're doing something fun or exciting, right? And you know, you look at the time, you're like, oh, you know, it's pretty early, it's like eight o'clock. And then you look at the time again, and then you're just like, damn, it's 1 a.m., right? That's kind of what it feels like. Like, it kind of does, kind of doesn't, but it, 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 like looking back on it, it's like, damn, you know, I've been, this is, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I didn't hop on the Forex wave. Uh, when it just recently started blowing up like I've been doing this like I've been wanting to learn how to trade like it's you know, it's crazy um, But I mean, yeah, so it's 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 been a long journey and I don't plan on stopping here Like I see a lot of traders on social media and stuff um, They're like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna retire soon and they've only been trading for like four years, right? I don't plan on retiring anytime soon, you know I want to keep reaching the next level because at the end of the day, you know I make money off the market. So why am I gonna retire? There's no point now It is very stressful especially that, you know There's a lot of people that take my same trades currently, you know can be very stressful Especially in points of drawdown because the thing about like when you are a signal provider and you know what you're doing You know, you're gonna hit periods of drawdown But the gamblers that join your signal room looking to flip their accounts don't realize that hey you know the reality of trading is you know we're gonna have losing streaks anyways i didn't want to really get that deep into the conversation but i'm just gonna show you guys real quick because i just got home let me flip the camera again first of all i gotta like install my tv so i just got home i'm gonna go take a shower i gotta install my tv i'm gonna install it up on the wall somewhere over there oh by the way here's like my current setup ignore the pills on the table right um i'm gonna install the tv up on the wall it's gonna be a little bit difficult because the desk is in the way but i mean it shouldn't be too difficult let me see let me unlock my door here 
or it's gonna tear it, right? Like, bro, this is crazy to me. There's my SV, there's my Urus, and then my GTR is sitting in the garage. Like, I was literally sitting out here for like 10, 15 minutes and just really looking at what I've been able to accomplish. Like, I bought this house, I bought my SV, and you know, my Urus. And it's funny because my SV matches my Urus just so perfectly. It's almost like they're the same spec. But, you know, it's just kind of crazy to me, you know? So I need to kind of close this here. I don't know, the way the locks work in these houses are a really weird design. All right, we're good. So anyways, I'm going to continue to monitor my position and I'll kind of update you guys as to what I do. So it's gonna be like a like a trade, <laughs> a trade in the night. Um, but yeah, so I will talk back to you guys in the next clip. A few inches later. All right guys, so currently looking at the trade here, we just ended up hitting another, or yet, <laughs> not another, Yet again, another take profit. So we are currently up 40, well, we currently were up 47 pips and I'm up roughly 13 grand. I was just up 17 grand, but obviously as you could see, price is starting to uh, pull back a little bit. So at this point, I'm gonna move my stops to uh, break even. I'm also going to let my signal room know here to move their stops to break even. As you can see, gold TP1 hit, gold TP2 hit. Uh, let's go. So. You know, I'm um, gonna move my stops to break even here. The price literally has not stopped going down. Uh, currently up $23,000. So I think I'm gonna end the night here because I'm up about a 2.7 risk to reward ratio. So I'm actually just gonna close my positions here at 60 pips profit, $24,000. I'm gonna close. And I am done for the day. So really quick, let me show you guys. This is one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. It's the uh, PAM section on the GOAT Forex leaderboard. Like you could see uh, people's results and you can invest in them, which I think is pretty cool. Like if you would have invested money into this guy's account, you would have made 123%, right? But with a huge max drawdown, right? Or you could have invested in uh, this guy's algo, which as you can see, has made a pretty steady return. It's had a drawdown of 30%, but it's been able to make 18 percent um or you could have invested in ryan effects over here which you know has the smallest drawdown and the biggest return right but that's not what i really wanted to focus on what i wanted you guys to focus on is on alex swings so he calls the signals for the new york session he started this account last month and pretty much uh, he started trading the account last month and he's been able to make 11% in a month. So that's, you know, whatever you want to do with that, it's, you know, 11% that you could have pocketed uh, for being in the service itself. So one thing I want to show you guys here, as you could see, FTMO account, this is a deposit, 300K, the profit split date. What I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the page. As you can see, nothing's really changed here. So here you go. Uh, here's the account number there. As you can see, both account numbers link up. And then here's the trade that I took where I just made $24,000. I risked about 2% uh, on this specific trade and was able to make $24,000 in this position. So you can kind of do the math there on the risk versus uh, the reward, um, which is crazy because I did have a pretty tight stop loss, but yeah. So as you can see there, this is also a real account as well. Then you could go check out Alex's account. I also did make money on my Go Forex account, but you know, I mean, you know, I kind of showed uh, this trade over here, but whatever. So if you guys want to go check out um, Go Forex and check out Alex's track record uh, for the signals, it's also there as well. Now he did mess up uh, with the daily drawdown. It's not actually supposed to be 15%. Uh, somebody basically had deposited into his PAM and he did the lot size that was appropriate to the amount of money that was in the account at the time. And the guy pretty much took his money out and it messed up. So the drawdown isn't actually supposed to be 15%. It's supposed to be anywhere around 8%. Uh, so almost half of that. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, there's no going back from that. But as you can see, here's his track record. So if you guys want to go check that out, I'll have a link in the bio. Or if you just want to use this brokerage, I'll have a link in the bio as well. But so uh, I'll continue the rest of the vlog in a second. So anyways, I was doing my journal and then, you know, once I called TP3 hit, look at all the people with these results. This guy made two grand. This guy made $1,300, right? What did he say? Profits, a sick new whip. What a day. Yeah, because I, I got the SV today and I made 24K on top of that, right? Then, you know, this guy made 
Like this guy made two hundred forty dollars. Literally made a hundred percent, bro. Um, this guy made five hundred bucks, and it keeps going. Eighteen hundred dollars. Like this guy paid for the signal room, and on top of that, he made seventeen times what he invested in the signal room itself. Like the signal room literally pays itself. This guy made four grand. That's ridiculous, right? Most of these are probably FTMOs. Um, this guy made four grand, literally, that's insane. And then we have this guy who made 940, $904. Like this results do not stop, that's insane. All right, everybody, so that pretty much sums up my uh, trading night, as you can see, I just shaved. But um, yeah, literally my trading night was what, two hours at most? I'm gonna make some content for the Learn and Earn Mentorship Signal Room, whatever you wanna call it. I don't wanna just call it a signal room because it's more like, a mentorship program and the signals like come along with it but anyways i'm gonna go to cvs real quick buy some groceries gonna take the sv damn i don't know why this camera looks so like fucked up right gonna go to cvs real quick buy some milk <laughs> buy some milk and then uh i don't know i think i'm gonna take uh, the sv for a little cruise i'm not gonna lie so once we get outside i'll kind of uh, show you guys the whip Damn, it's dark as hell in here. So anyways, there it is. If you guys haven't seen the last vlog, I suggest you go watch it, but here is my brand new S fucking V. And then there's my Eurus. Look, funny, funny enough, the Eurus literally matches the SV with the red brake caliper. Damn, there were some tiny calipers in the back, but look at those calipers in the front these are the biggest production calipers i think eight pistons uh that there has been production made i guess is how you could word that but damn bro like it's still so surreal to me like damn i'm lucky matching with the sv2 bro the black and the red you know we're driving half a million dollar cars wearing chanclas bro but anyways let me show you guys why i'm gonna get evicted from my community <laughs> in the next few weeks <laughs> uh. It's because we're turning on V12s at 2 in the morning. Not even v 12 straight pipe V12s just to go to the grocery store. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry, neighbors. So, I'm going to go CVS real quick. Or not. I'll probably go to the gas station first. Give you guys a little walk around around the, the SV. And then we'll go for a little cruise and then go to uh, CVS. So, anyways, I'm pulling up to Mexico here. <coughs> Mexico. But um, I'm, I just want you guys to experience this pull with me because this car is so damn loud. It has a straight pipe from IPE and just listen to the exhaust note. Give me literally a second because I'm about to rip this thing. I can barely hear myself talking. so damn loud i love it I, it's just so ignorant i love it that's crazy but anyways i know you guys can barely see me right now but i'm gonna pull up to uh cvs real quick damn why is my neck dripping nah, i'm playing but <laughs> yo I, I say the stupidest shit sometimes uh, i'm gonna pull up to cvs real quick damn all you can see is my teeth <laughs> my neck is bro I'm gonna pull up to uh, CBS real quick, give you guys a little walk down of the car, because I literally just got it, and uh, probably end the vlog there. So, I'll talk to you guys in a second. We got the ops taking pics of the whips. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, that's, my, that's one of my friends, it's my boy. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, so I pulled up to the gas station real quick, I'm gonna pump some gas, and then uh, we'll do some training talk. Like, bro, look at this thing with this gas station lighting, it's insane. Literally ridiculous. And then look at the back. It's literally insane, bro. So anyways, um, I kind of just wanted to end the video here, right? That's kind of like a typical day in the life or like my nightly work routine. 
Uh, gonna go home, finish my journal, gonna go home, make some more content for the Learn and Earn Signal group. And then uh, I've got some other little work to do. Uh, I gotta check up on the stock market and I also gotta uh, check up on cryptos and then I gotta go to sleep. And then uh, wake up tomorrow and do whatever I feel like doing because uh, Fridays I don't really work. My work schedule is really like Sunday through Thursday night. That's really my work schedule. So anyways, you know, it's been a pretty good day. You know, I just bought my dream car, the SV and made $24,000 on top of that. But one thing I wanted to say, even though I made 24 grand, right, trading today, that's just trading. You know, you guys saw it make me in the matter, make $24,000 in the matter of two, three hours. Keep in mind, you know, I haven't been doing this for a year. I haven't been doing this for two years. I've been doing this for, you know, five years now. This did not come overnight. Like, look at the bags under my eyes. They're designer for, oh, God, that was the fucking cringiest thing I've ever just said. But, you know, look at the bags under my eyes. You know what I mean? There's been so many sleepless nights, so many nights where, you know, I feel almost depressed. You know what I mean? There's been so many nights where, you know, there's lots of ups, there's lots of downs. The learning curve when it comes to trading is no joke. You know, you know, trading is definitely one of the harder career paths to choose, but definitely, you know, once it does pay off, it, it clearly it pays off. You know what I mean? I was able to make $24,000 in the span of two hours. You're talking about I almost made someone's yearly salary in two hours. Not even go look at the last video, bro. That's a fucking uh, $54,000 profit in the span of what, a couple of days, right? So, I mean, it's just kind of insane thinking about it really, but there's only really one way to do it. And that's really to put in the work. That's really to just kind of look at the overall goal, the overall picture of what you want to accomplish when it comes down to trading. And I feel like the biggest misconception is, you know, you could make a lot of money with a little small account deposit. That's not true at all. You know, you, you know, you want to make a lot of money in the market. You're going to need a lot of money. And this is me being honest and forward with you guys. Luckily, there are like funding programs. But even then, like you need to trade your own capital first to even be able to qualify and pass these funded program challenges that's what a lot of people do not tell you like you need the experience like you need to slowly level up on your own trading capital you know you need to trade ten thousand dollars you need to be able to learn how to trade 25 then 50 then 70 then 100 right so on and so forth right you're not going to be able to manage 100 grand or manage 300 grand overnight especially if you've only ever traded a thousand dollar capital what makes you think you're going to be able to trade from a thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars in the span of you know a few weeks it's not gonna happen right so the key thing i can tell you guys is when it comes down to trading is one money management two look at your risk to reward per trade right because the example i think i used in the last vlog was like okay you know well you know if i can at least gain two times my risk and win about 50 percent of the time or five out of 10 trades or 50 out of 100 trades, then statistically I will be profitable. Right now, if you increase your risk reward, you know, it doesn't matter really um, at the end of the day because the risk reward will compensate for the win rate. Now, a trader could lose or a trader could win only 30% of the time. But if his risk to reward compensates for his lack of wins, right, then he'll be profitable. It doesn't matter. Or there's some traders that win 70, 80% of the time, but have a risk to reward that's a one to one or a negative risk to reward ratio. So also lastly, you know, focus on the probabilities per setup that you're taking. Right, understand that trading is a game of probabilities and you have to come in the market and when you see your strategy, you have to test your probabilities, be able to manage your risk and look for those high risk reward ratio trades. That's pretty much about it guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this little video, this little day in the life, if that's how you wanna call it or day in the work life, whatever you wanna do it, you know, my trading routine. But yeah, so I'm gonna go home now, finish up all that stuff, edit this vlog and then probably uh, just go to sleep because my trading night's already over before the London session even opened up. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys ever have any questions, you know, I have my free telegram in the description. I have the link to the learning and signals in the description as well. And you can also follow me on Instagram, hit me up there, but I'd probably be probably um, contact you faster or apply back faster on uh, telegram. So peace out guys.